Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to test out a new product. We're going to change our 6 PCIe slot board into an 8 card board. And how are we going to do it? We're going to do it with this little guy here, thanks to our friends over at Allwave. This is the PCIe 1 to 4 splitter. Let's stop gabbing and let's tear into it. Spin that intro. Pew! Welcome! It's a great day to be me! It's a great day to be me, except I got a little bit of a problem, and you're gonna say to yourself, Altered, what could possibly be the problem? You've got eight reference AMD 6000 series cards. You got a brand new Dredge 2 frame from Allwave. You got all the parts to build this new beast of a mining rig. What could possibly be your problem? I'd give a kidney to have these graphics cards. You're right, except my motherboard only supports six graphics cards. This is the motherboard that I picked up for this build. So how are we gonna make this six slot PCIe board accommodate these eight cards? I got a solution for that. This is a one to four PCIe splitter brought to us from our friends over at Allwave. Let's open both of these up and we're gonna take a look at them. And then of course, we're gonna do some building and we're gonna test this thing out and make sure it works how we expect it to. Let's go ahead and have these things open like... <laughs> that never gets old. Here it is. So this is the Gigabyte Z390UD motherboard. And as you can see here, we have one, two, three of the X1 PCIe slots, and we have one, two, three of the X16 slots for a grand total of six GPU slots. Here is our convenient little PCIe one to four splitter, brought to us again from our friends over at All Weave. And what you do is you simply slot this guy in right here into your board, just like this, and it turns a single slot into four USB slots. And what I'll do is I'll take off this little IO bracket because I prefer to not have it there. I'll slot it in and then I'll use a nice little 3D printed clip to hold it in tight. Well, let's go ahead and quit gabbing and let's see this thing in action. All right, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five RX 6700 XT AMD reference models all slotted in. There they are plugged into the PCIe slots. However, I still have one, two, three more cards to add. So we're going to have to make this six card board into an eight card board. And so we're going to use the triple A wave one to four PCIe adapter. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this IO panel, two little Phillips screws right there. And then that way it just is a little more convenient when I slot it in. And then I also have a 3D printed bracket to hold it more solid in place so it doesn't wobble back and forth. So let's go ahead and do that like now. All right, she's inserted slight change of plans, however. The 3D printed bracket that I wanted to use to help secure it to the PCIe slot will not work with this specific motherboard because of the capacitors on the board right beside the X16 slot. This one is a brand new board. It does not have too much play, but see there is a little bit of a wobble. I think it'll be fine. We just have to be careful when we're inserting the additional USBs and that we have a nice angle and don't put a lot of pressure on it one direction or the other so that it does stay firmly upright. All right, so first things first, we're over in our remote session. Let's check out how all these cards are displaying since we used our splitter. We'll go into our windows, we'll right click the start button, device manager, and this here under display adapters is where all of your graphics cards will display. And I just wanna emphasize that you should be adding your graphics cards one at a time within windows. So you would shut it down fully, hook up your next card, plug it into your splitter, boot into Windows, check device manager, make sure that it pulls it in, shut it back down, add the next one, 
boot back up, make sure that it shows up, and so forth. Once they're all in, then you can proceed to do your overclocking and your other pieces. But there it is. The splitter is added. We are up to all eight of our graphics cards are running perfectly on this six card board. And let's just take a look at our full hash rate real quickly. Here it is where we're doing 389 mega hash. That's not too bad. And that's on about just shy of 1200 watts, 1185 watts. And that is actually at the wall. So not terrible, not supreme, but it is getting the job done. And our splitter is doing its thing we've been able to add it and actually with these kind of splitters it's even easier in hive and when you're doing a giant rig like this especially with an AMD I would actually advise to go the hive route I'm a Windows truther and that is why I spent the extra time and that's why it's set up like this and there's our splitter it's a beautiful product this one came from triple a wave it works great I highly advise it I'll put links down in the description let's cut out to the outro <laughs> Well, there you have it. We've successfully converted our six card motherboard into an eight card GPU rig. Thanks to our friends over at AAA Wave and the one to four PCIe a splitter adapter. Make sure to check out their website for some amazing products, as well as our review on the Dredge 2 up above. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.